All right, you got a little thing here that the birds have a bath in, and that little document tub. I'm going to show you how to soften water in the manner, manner I was saying before um, about the way my boss used to do it, which was putting his thumb over the end of it. Now you've got to get your, your hose like so. When you put it in, you've got to make sure that it sort of goes in corkscrew screw style, uh, as in the hose basically has to be up on one end to be able to let all the air bubbles out. You know, and you don't want to have sort of bits where it goes up and then back down and then up again because you want it to be full of water. And if it's not full of water, this trick won't work. So you've got to dunk it under and it's very good to use a clear hose because you can see if there's any air bubbles in it. And you put it right under like that. And there we go. And that's all under uh, without any air bubbles in it. Now, you also put your outlet end under. Now you put your thumb over the end of it, lift it out, and take your thumb off when you get down to level. And there we are. We're siphoning. And that will, if I hold the other end on the bottom, whoa, we're getting some bits of old leaves and everything going through. If I hold my um, the other end down, the pipe that's, in, that's still in there, um, I'll basically be able to more or less empty it. You can never seem to quite get completely empty. Um, but, you know, if the other end goes up above the water, you lose it all because it sucks air. And I'll do that right now. Boom. And that's it. So then you've got to start again. But even if I was to hold this at the very bottom, you never seem to quite get the last of it out. Um, just the way it goes. Um, but, yeah. The other trick is to <laughs> attach a brick, the kind with a few holes in the brick, and then put a bit of wire, a bit of string through the brick, and uh, tie that under the pipe, and then it ensures that it stays down the bottom. Um, and the other way you can stop it from going, I'll show you again, I'll put it in again, Cook, screw down. Now, of course, if the bottom comes up above the air like I just showed, that obviously stops it. But there's another method. There we go again. And more flipping leaves through. But the other method is to lift it up higher than the water level of the container. And then it stops. And if you go back down, it will just trickle a little bit and there will be nothing. So you've got to restart it. But, yeah, that's the uh, way you may be able to do fuel without having to actually suck through and get diesel in your mouth like some of the farmers around here have during uh, droughts and that. But that's, a, that's an easy way, um, you know, especially if the water is water from a pond or a dam that sort of probably got bacteria and diving beetles and maybe a dead bird or something in there and you don't want to suck it, you know, that's your easy way um, to allow transfer of that sort of water that may not be good enough for drinking grade but would be good enough to water your garden uh, and you know run an irrigation system through a veggie patch or something like that but yeah there you go there's the uh, other method of um, water transfer softening 